of the better veterans are kind of like an association of like I guess people who value their history of their family and like what they did in the South. From what I've been told uh, those are the guys that stand outside with the uh, Confederate flags and pretty much try to preserve the culture of their Confederacy. Well I know that they are supporters of the Confederate flag and they want their they support the Confederate flag and want it put back on the chapel. I think the goal is to preserve the heritage of the Confederate soldiers because even though they lost the war, they still deserve to be recognized. Well, it's the descendants of the Confederates from the Civil War that are trying to keep the heritage going and their culture going, you know? People that have heritage that lead back to people who fought on the Confederate side in the uh, Civil War. Um, honestly, probably pretty much everyone in America has someone that needs that, like, some heritage there. Because it was a huge war, like, just more people died and participated in it than any other American war in history. Well, I know that the Sons of Confederate Veterans are a group of organized people who stand for what they believe in. I think it's a good organization. That they, especially since this whole Confederate flag thing has gone down, like they definitely stood up for what they believe in. I guess they emphasize that they're more for like history and heritage and not actually like hurting anybody, so I mean, they're not the KKK, so I guess that they're not doing anything wrong. My opinion on what they stand for is that they obviously have their rights, but it depends on certain case scenarios and whether or not, if certain ones want it due to the heritage and whether they want it just because they have racial standpoints or not, or whatnot. So personally, it depends on person to person, if they actually stand for what it really stands for and heritage wise, or if they have racial views towards the flag. Yeah, like, even though they lost, there's no point in just throwing away the history. That's still important stuff. I feel like sometimes they don't even know what they stand for. Most of the people that are there, they don't fully understand what it is. Like, the Confederate flag wasn't even the Confederate flag. It was never an official flag of that. It was the, said, um, North Virginia battle flag they took into the battles and there were three confederate flags throughout history and it was never included in any of them. I mean I guess it's WNL's right to close it to them but unless they're being disturbance to WNL there's really no point in not letting them have it. I disagree with it simply because if they're going to support, like if they should be open to anyone that's willing to take like what they want to do or their opinions or beliefs. Like if they're going to, for instance, um, like if they're going to have a Christian chapel there and someone wants to start like some other religious thing, they should allow them to build that on the grounds. Maybe not to find justification for not letting them use the chapel because <clears throat> the Confederate flag to some stands for heritage, but to many in America, they feel as if it stands for our racially divided country. And if you allow that to be put on your chapel, I feel it doesn't, not segregates, but it doesn't allow the, for the black community to feel as comfortable as they could when going to WNL. I mean, I guess they do need a meeting place, but it just like, WNL can do whatever they want, so it doesn't matter. I mean, they've got, they've got their reasons for, most of them are not very good reasons. It's just, most of the time it's the, the students that make the decision, not the, the, the council or whatever you call it.